Hi, this is Scott with Android Guys. I'm here with Luke. Hey, everybody. Luke. Yeah. Would you like to talk about phones? Sure. Would you like to talk about Ting Mobile? Absolutely, I would. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Uh, let, today, we're going to talk about three different phones from Ting Mobile. Yeah. What we're doing is highlighting different phones for different types of users. Right. We're trying to do the best of sure. phones. And that doesn't qualify the conversation as saying these are the top highest performance, sure. best of the best. Right. Everybody's a different user, has different needs. So what we're trying to do is find the right phone for that type of user. Yeah. And we've done some coverage on different MVNOs and wireless carriers over the last couple of months, one of which has been Ting Mobile. Mm -hmm. And one of the questions as part of that coverage is, can you buy a phone from them? Yeah. Of course, the answer here is yes. Yep. So we're going to talk about some of the phones that are available. Now, with MVNOs, selection is always um, a little different. Sure. From carrier to carrier. You're not always guaranteed to find the same selection, mm -hmm. the same models that you might be seeing commercials for right. at other carriers or from the phone makers themselves. Yeah. So we kind of go through the list and pare down what we think Fits the bill for the best entry-level phone, the best phone for flagship or high-end performance, mm -hmm. and then the best all-around phone, which is kind of like maybe not necessarily the mid-range, but kind of like the sweet spot of this is a lot of phone for a really good price. Yeah. This is the type of phone that uh, I would recommend for many people. Yeah, the average user. Yeah. You know, yeah. that median level. And these are, you know, these are the three different – phones and and the other part of this is we have talked a lot a lot about different mvnos and if you're searching for a new carrier and, and then you start looking at their phones and looking what's available it can be overwhelming mm -hmm. so um this was a way to kind of start you out if you mm -hmm. want a really nice phone if you want an entry level or if you want just a all-around good phone here's the three to start at and then yeah. there are more options from the carriers and you can kind of maybe get the exact phone you want, but these are the three that we think are worth looking at initially yeah. uh, based on your phone needs. And th that uh, the these articles or this content comes about because of real world conversations we have with people that say, hey, I need a new phone. What do you recommend? Right. And that's such a vague thing yeah. that we turn around and say, okay, which carrier? Yep. What do you want to do with it? Yep. Uh, and when you start to hear certain things you're like oh then i would recommend this yeah and if that's not available then maybe x right so without further ado let's talk about the entry level yeah uh user this is the type of person who says you know what i might be new to smartphones sure uh, you know that that is a real thing as much as we've come to use these things so much over the years there are people who they are new to it so right these are people who aren't going to have needs yet they're you know they don't know if they're going to play games. They don't know what they want to do with it. Maybe photos don't matter to them. Right. Um, so entry level, mm -hmm. what do we have here, Luke? So for entry level, we're picking the Samsung Galaxy A03s. Mm -hmm. uh, this phone is um, it's a six and a half inch screen, so it's a, a decent size screen. Mm -hmm. It's a high definition screen, but it is. Um, maybe a lower resolution than most of the, you know, kind of flagship phones that are out. Yeah. Uh, this does have 32 gigs of built-in storage, but you can expand that up to a terabyte with a micro SD three gigs of Ram. Uh, it includes a, a headphone jack, which mm -hmm. is something you don't really see in um, that many phones anymore. Uh, and it's got a 5,000 milliamp battery. So it's got a, a decent size battery for uh, what it does. It has three mega or three cameras on the rear, one front camera. So you're not really missing out on any of, of those kind of camera features. Right. Um, it's not, you know, maybe the highest resolution of cameras available, but you still get a lot of variety in the shots you can take. Uh, and then it, you know, still comes in with uh, obviously has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and that kind of stuff. Sure. Um, now this one is 4G LTE, so it's yeah. not going to have 5G data, so you won't have that super high speed. 
Um, but you know, for, for a basic phone that you need just for being connected to the world when you're on the go, uh, this one, uh, it, it comes in at one fifty nine. dollars yeah. That price point is really compelling for a starting phone. Yeah. There's that's, we've paid a lot more for a lot less phone. Absolutely. In the past. Yeah. Uh, so th- yeah, the galaxy a 3 S mm-hmm. that's about one sixty at Ting. So let's go to the other end of the sure uh, spectrum. Let's yeah. swing that pendulum all the way out yeah. and say, okay, what's really, I, I, I'd rather just throw all the money I can into a phone because sure. I want the best of what's available. I don't want to worry about replacing this thing. I don't want to second guess my decision later on. Mm-hmm. What would you say is among the best uh, flagship level phones at Ting Mobile. Yeah, so that one's going to be a Samsung also, but it's going to be the S22 Plus. So the S22 series is the latest thing from Samsung. Uh, that one comes in. It's got a 6.6-inch in, 6. 6 screen, so slightly bigger uh, than the AO3, but this one has 120 hertz refresh rate. Um, it's an AMOLED screen, so it, it looks crisp and beautiful Mm -hmm. uh this one has the snapdragon 8 gen 1 processor so a really fast processor 128 gigs of internal storage 8 gigs of ram uh it's ip68 rated for dust and water resistance uh 4500 uh milliamp battery um it's got fast charge it's got wireless power share so you'll Mm -hmm. be able to charge you know some headphones or another device you can share that battery charge with other things. Uh, and then this also has uh, four cameras total. It's got one front camera and then three on the back uh, with zoom, telephoto, ultra wide. Uh, and this does have the 5G data. So mm-hmm. it's kind of got everything. Uh, it, it hits all the buzzwords when you're talking yeah. about new phone technology and also running the latest version of Android. Yep. That's the other thing too. And Samsung um, has committed like for this model to multiple years of Android updates yep. and monthly security patches. Yeah. Samsung is one of the leaders in that space. Yeah. So not only are you getting a great phone today, mm-hmm. but they're going to support that with future versions of Android too. Right. Um. Yeah. This phone is, fantastic it yeah. really is and um it's like you said the buzzwords it's some of those things like it's one thing to have a big battery it's another thing to have a phone that has wireless charging yep and then it's another thing to be able to use that battery to charge other devices right it's one thing to have a big screen another thing to have a high refresh rate yeah you know dynamic range so this has all that stuff yeah. this is like truly uh and and that's you know not just through Tang, but through samsung the Galaxy S22 is the flagship line, mm-hmm. and the Plus is one of the top tier phones available. Yeah. Yep. So this guy runs about nine ninety nine. Yeah. Uh, through Ting right now, looks like it's available in Phantom Black. Yep. So now let's go somewhere in the middle. Sure. Find us a phone that says, "Okay, that stuff sounds great. I don't know that I need all that. Sure, but I do care about having a nice size screen. I, mean, mm-hmm. I do want a battery that's you know." large i want something that's going to give me you know a current version of android 5g sounds nice i think i'd like to have that yeah um and i I just want you know i want something that's just you know good enough sure so there's one it's it's interesting because when we we talk about the specs of the s22 Mm -hmm. that's the flagship model and has you know everything you could want in current phone technology but then you look at this this phone that we're calling the all around or the you know maybe mid-tier phone there's really only a couple features missing that the s22 has and this one has some other features maybe possibly better than the s22 uh for half the price and and so this phone is the galaxy a53 5g Mm -hmm. uh that one's coming in a 6.5 inch screen um, and that is a super AMOLED screen. It still has the 120 Hertz refresh. Um, it's got a, uh, Exynos 1280 processor. So it's mm-hmm. a, it's a fast processor. Yep. Uh, 128 gigs internal, 
just like the S22, but you can also put in a micro SD to expand it up to a terabyte. It's got six gigs of RAM, so mm-hmm. a little slower than the S22, but it's rated IP67 for water resistance. So it won't have the 68 for the dust resistance, sure. but you're still getting that protection. It's got a 5,000 milliamp battery. Yeah. Um, and it has 25 watt fast charge where it's 15 watt fast charge on the S22. Now it's not going to do power sharing. You're not going to be able to charge other devices, Yeah, but it does have a bigger battery and a faster charging capability. Uh, this one also has four cameras. It's yeah. got a front, uh, 32 megapixel front camera and a 64 megapixel back camera, and then a, uh, 12 megapixel wide and a five megapixel macro and depth camera. Yeah. Uh, and this is 5G data. Um, this is for the price. When you, when you look, especially, and this is, again, specific to Ting, um, but comparing the A53 5G with the S22 Plus, yeah. I, I find it really hard to... Uh, Go for the S22 yeah, Plus. To justify the extra money. Yeah. And say, well, for that much more money, am I really getting things that I care about? Right. And and I think that's the thing that we've seen more often than not. And and part of the reason for this, you know, kind of this series is you don't have to just look at, hey, what's the thing that costs the most? That must be the best. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, and and it's hard to it's hard to see. You know, in the through the see the trees through the forest, so to speak. Yeah, there are a lot of phones, uh, but there's some gems hidden in there, like this A53 5G. I mean, it's it's a great phone and a lot of phone for half the price of that flagship. Yeah, it really. uh, One of the terms that I've seen pop up over the last few years is junior flagship. Sure, and this kind of I think fits that bill. Yeah, the Galaxy A series in general represent the more everyman phone yeah where the galaxy s is the flagship Mm -hmm. level stuff but the the a53 is you know near the top of that line yeah and it's just an awful lot of phone for not much uh comparatively so yeah for about 450 you're gonna get this phone that's the galaxy a53 5g yeah so those are three from tang there Mm -hmm. are some other phones to choose from their handset selection is a little bit uh leaves somewhat to be desired sure but the beauty of that is you can bring your own device. Yeah. If you have an unlocked phone or you have a phone that you pick up from a manufacturer direct, a lot of times those are going to be compatible mm-hmm. or uh, supported by them. Yep. And you can go to their website and check to see if it's compatible as well. Right. So that is uh, three handsets that we recommend as best phones for Ting Mobile as of uh, spring 2022. Yep. Thanks for listening. Thanks. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comments, anything, shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G-A-U-L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster and Twitter as SWebster77. Until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.